What is up guys, Player Unknown here. Today we'll be talking about the arcade and its deals because it's on a deal this week, so you have to get it before it goes. Right, let's get on with the video. So if you want to buy an arcade, simply go to Maze Bank Foreclosures, then enter the site, and then go to arcades if you want to specifically look for it. And here, I'll zoom out just to show you guys all of them. Alright, so as you can see, there's one in Polito Bay, that's obviously the cheapest as being the farthest. And then, that's the price, see it's on a deal right now, so get it while you can. And then they're from Elysian Island as well, from like way south down and also that. You see, all of them are on a deal, so yeah. This is the one I have, the 8-bit Vinewood, as it's in the middle of the map, kind of. And also, look, I'll show you. The path to the Diamond Casino is very, very straight and quick, so that's why I like this one. And, and it's also in the middle of the map. And so basically, it's in the this arcade works well as well. It's very close as well to the arcade, but I'd rather have this arcade because it's in the middle of the map, and close to all preps. And this is so. This is all the like renovations you can get. And like so, let's so, 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 see. They all these I think murals. Just all of these you can get. Remember that all these murals and all these paint jobs, whatever, are to whatever you like. So. Yeah, it's all, it's all about your personal preference when it comes to, like, designing your arcade with all these paints. And then there's neon art. That'll look pretty cool. So, yep. Yeah. That's the one I have. And then those are the extras. I, I've also got the garage, too. And then that's how you buy it. Alright guys, I'm going to now show you why I like this. So look at the entrances. They are pretty much almost in the open. See, it's very easily accessible. The garage is also easily accessible with most vehicles. It's pretty, it's near the open road. So this is good for like doing preps or trying to get to your arcade very quickly. That means you can enter it, see, just like this. And if you walk into the blue circle like always, that's how you enter the arcade. And then it just loads from here on out. Alright, so I'm gonna now do a tour of the basement. The, usually the basement is for the Diamond Casino. See, all the prep boards are here. And look, here are all the purchasable stuff. So first we'll start with this Diamond Casino model. Um, to be honest, I don't even think this is worth it. It only shows your like points of entry. You can just get this from someone else and it's not really that useful. Here is the Nano Drone Station. This is also an upgrade. This is pretty useful, but sometimes, sometimes it isn't. This grants you to launch a Nano Drone from like your person or from the station, so look, we'll launch it right now. It's pretty much the same as a terabyte drone, meaning that it's so that it can tase or, and it can detonate. And look at all the buttons down there, you can go up and down. So, like, let's try tasing someone. So, Bam. Yeah, it, it's kind of like the terabyte drone, so if you've had the terabyte drone, it's pretty similar and you should be able to easily pilot this. There's the boost. Pretty good boost. So that it makes it drone faster. I think... Yep, look at that range. That is really good range. So don't need to always get in close proximity of someone. And now we'll detonate. Just like... So like the terabyte drone, it charges up, you just stay near a car or something, and blam. So then, yep, that's how you do it. Right, let's try and... So the cooldown is like 5 minutes, so if you have a small attention span, I don't know if you might get this, because that's a pretty long cooldown. But then again, it's a useful drone. Now this is the hacking station. Again, this is personal preference. If you want to practice on hacking, then go on. But I don't really need it. I just got it because I'm a completionist and I really want it. But yeah, same goes for this vault door. It's only if you really want to practice on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it about those two. And this is the garage. This is very good for storing vehicles. I would recommend this because 
that means you could have like a whole bunch of vehicles from being in the arcade and that's easily accessible to do in many different missions so that's good and I would recommend it so yeah there's the crew right there and this is the master control terminal this I really really recommend this is basically what the terabyte should have been this is this is just the best all right look I'm gonna sign into my thing so I can access my like um bunker I'll show you guys See, look at all of this. You can access all of your businesses. I'll go into my bunker business. See, I can resupply it. I can research and fast track. I can manage, manage my staff. I can buy upgrades. I can shut down my business. Look, all this stuff. And you can control it all from the arcade. So all of that from the arcade. Would really, really recommend this. You must buy this even while it's on sale. So yeah, that's about most of it i think we're just gonna go for the spawn now like this is a spawn like in the last video i showed you how i can spawn in my arcade it comes with a gun rack and also a wardrobe so you can change outfits and save them and that bed is the spawn so yeah you can spawn in your arcade that's really good if you want to like you know just do the heist quickly and yeah there's a dartboard there and that's almost about it I think there's also a gun, there's like a gun like customization thing on the left. Alright, so this would be the entrance to your arcade, looks pretty stylish, remember it depends on which like style you like. So look at this, so yeah, it's pretty neat with all the gumballs, and this is walking in, this is a fully maxed out, you have to buy these cabinets, When this won't come stock, at stock it'll probably be like plain and would not, there's a trophy case there, so yeah, like I was saying before. Not all of this comes with stock, you're gonna have to buy all this stuff. Except the except those like um turf war things in the middle. So yeah. There's all of that. And um all these arcade okay, machines, you can play on them, your friends can play on them. Here you can use a jukebox to change change music. So yeah. Look, you can do all of this stuff, you can play all of this, or you can just completely turn it off. So yeah. And if you're the owner, you can go behind the bar and you can serve drinks to people right here. So if you have like lots of friends over and they want to come for a drink, then yeah, you, you are there to help them. Which is a cool feature, I guess. Alright, then this is the manager's office, so your office, so you can enter it. Water closet, aka the toilet. So yeah, it's pretty good. And then your actual office, you know, looks also really good. That's the entrance to your basement, covered by that. And here's a safe. This is where your daily nightclub earnings are put. The more arcade cabinets you have, the more like arcade earnings you get. So that's really um good as well as like a passive secondary property, you know, secondary business kind of. Alright, if you want to buy upgrades or manage the arcade games and you go into this computer, it's also in the basement too. So here you can buy all different arcade cabinets, they all look really good, so like again, it's all your personal preference, I just bought all of them. Because you know, my arcade has variety and the two new arcade cabinets over there, I'll get those soon. And then, so yeah, all your total earnings, your location and the owner, and this is where you get the drone station and master control terminal. So yeah, get these while you can, they're all little, like deals, so yeah. And then, yep, that's right there. That's about, and then here you can, you can like, change your, where, like your placement of arcade games, so, you know, make it cool looking. Again, this is personal preference, doesn't have to be like each and every, like, hard I put it in this is just what you like and how you like to operate it yeah and that's about it for this computer and then I think yeah so this is the dip so that like little stair right there that's the entrance to the heist basement that you see that the green H for heist and here you go and this is the same basement as before with the darts and the gun like workshop you can use there as well. 
There is also another computer there as well. It, like the one upstairs. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Comment down anything if I missed anything. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.